Hey Munchkin, do you have a good tutorial for displays and buttons? Well, yes. Apparently now we do. And that's going to be how we open up the intro. Quick disclaimer, we are in closed alpha. Everything here is subject to change randomly. It's it's. We don't want to get all the way through editing and then something changes. The It's fine. As of recording, everything right now is correct. Hopefully the frozen bite doesn't do a cannon tour on us. To buttons! Hello and welcome to the first part of what will hopefully be eh, maybe a six, seven part series the Starbase Tutorials, covering basic stuff, buttons, displays, levers, hinges, network relays, fuel oil chips, memory chips, generators, weapons, transmitters, thrusters, rail guns, rail guns are weapons of rails, oh my, and it should be quite interesting. We have to get through this first episode to see if I'm actually gonna hold, hold true on that promise and finish all of this. So without further ado, buttons! They go clicky click. What happens if we um if we auto clicker? Nice. This is also the second time of me recording this because the first time we did it, uh it, it corrupted, so now we have to do this all over again. Which is brilliant. However, buttons Oh, they make the ship work. You, you kind of need buttons, or else your ship is... It probably won't work. Levers are a little bit more important. The buttons, very important. However, as you can see, the, all the buttons are are working together. My mouse is broken, don't mind it. Um, So why is that? Well, every single button here is named the exact same. That is because if, say, one thing is named high and something else is named high, any input on one high name is going to go straight to the other. What do I mean by that? Well, let's for instance, oh, by the way, pressing tab brings you from mouse to looking around with a mouse. Anyways, button state, that's the name of the button. Let's change that to high. Everything else, let's keep it the default for now. Change the panel value. Is just a, what, yeah, text panel. Change it to whatever you want. We'll be going into that a bit more detail in hopefully future videos. Let's also name this Hi. Well, now, go ahead and do this. You can see our button is named Hi. Text panel is named Hi. Click on Hi. Ooh. It changes to one. Oh, something? It, Starbase is case insensitive. Say if I have Hi, all caps, and... This high is all lower caps. It'll still work just as work as as it is. You could spam capitals, you can have no capitals. Starbase won't care. This button style, that's actually quite important because it could be either a zero or a one. If it's a zero, then as long as you're pressing down the button, the button will be on. However, if the button style is one, click it and it toggles. It's now your button will stay on until you tell it otherwise. So, now what we're going to do, we're going to use the same principle, only on our lever. Okay, now it wants to work. The lever state, that's our name. Let's change it to, to just lever. No, well, yeah. There we go. Panel value. Yeah, let's also change that to... To lever. Now we can see that if we slide our lever up, then it works. Everything's working just fine. It is displaying what's or where the lever is on its line. So this pair, this I had the same trouble last recording. Panel variable resolution. What is that? You might say. Well, it displays what this number right there is going to show. So if we say put it to 10, that number is only going to display boop, in increments of 10. No matter how middle it is, it's only going to be 10. Works same in reverse. You could also set it to 0.1. This way, 
it will go ahead and display 0.1. Put it anywhere. Now we're at 57.3. 86.3. Let's get a different... 56.6. Yeah, you, you get the deal. And I believe this can go up to, to three digits. So to go up to 0.001. And then, whee, 43.406, 66 point, that's really precise. Hmm, you can also see we have buttons and panels everywhere. These are the three ways of where you can put stuff. You have yourself your basic pilot chair control table, which is a little thing, just slots into your chair. That way, if your chair is hooked up to your lol, then... Your chair can go ahead and just read these, press any buttons, hey presto. However, if you want to put stuff elsewhere, you're going to need either a panel base, quick tip, your panel base will only work if and only if that white L thing is connected to, say in this case, a panel. It also works with button text, you get it. Levers, they don't have to be connected. They have... nope, not on the side. Yeah, a little YOLO thing. Or a little uh, cable connection. So you can directly connect a cable to them, so you can put them anywhere in your ship, really. The third option, which gives the most customization, is your control table stands. Basically, you go in devices, controls... Yeah, these things, control table plates. They pop these on, and if they're actually aligned correctly, which, which it's not wanting to do right now, then it would transmit if it's connected to YOLO. Very important. Or it doesn't have to be connected to YOLO, though it has to be connected via the blue cable, which is power and data. Then, if you connect on the plates, then you can put anything on those plates then. And that gives the most... I guess customize. Yeah, it gives the most customization. So, we've seen a manual input, and then we get an output. The what if we want to read something. Say, information. Almost like oh, a generator reading. More specifically, how much fuel do we have? Here we have our stored raw fuel. Let's rename that to fuel. Because less characters to type out. And then... We, we've already used this. Let's use this one a little bit. We name this to be fuel. Then... We have a typo. Then when we play, then you'll see... Hey presto! It's given us an output. However, there's something fancy little bit wrong here. And that is this bar. Because this bar is not actually reading correctly. Let us basically fix that. But let's fix it on a simpler thing. So over here. This is reading from 0 to 100. 100 is not the maximum this number can go to. No, the panel max value is the value of the progress bar. So this lever has a maximum output of 100. You want the maximum value and the maximum value of whatever you're reading or inputting to be pretty much the same. So, what happens if we say take the max value, put it to 50? Well, it, it still works all the way. However, you can see that this middle progress bar is now at the maximum when we're at 50. So it's I mean, it still works, you're getting the numbers, so you don't have a visual representation of, in this case, how much fuel you have left. Because right now, it's only working from here. So, we fix that, you know, changing the maximum value. What do we change it to? Well, fuel rods can have a maximum of 300,000 units. So if we take the maximum value, 300,000, this thing would now work. We can't really see it at all. You might be able to if you squint. However, this now works. So this appears 300,000, 
and down here is of course zero. Now, here, here's something. Levers, we've kind of touched on them. Oh, by the way, lever centering dead zone? Get rid of it. So, uh, say for whatever reason, a middle lever isn't going to work. That's, that's no problem. Because you could just take your minimum output to negative 100. And then, hey presto, you have a custom middle lever. A few more things about the lever. You have your centering speed. That is, how fast is it going to center? Just set that to 4, for example. Min-max, that is the maximum and minimum that your values will go when they are... If your lever is all the way at the top, its output is going to be 100. If you set it to 1,000, then when it's up there, it's going to be outputting 1,000. Dead zone? Get rid of it. Uh, your move speed is whatever your keybind is set to. Your keybind will move it at that set speed. Your centering speed is just going to make it now center. Ooh. All right, that should be good. All right, that should theoretically be everything for the first thing. If you want an actual tutorial of what everything around here is, I will see if there's a one. I think Senki has one about all that, and I'll link you to that. This is just going to focus more on what everything is, essentially, like, basically as this. Only, for now, future videos, we're going to move on to more and more and different stuff. Arguably, the more fun stuff. So this is the core of your ship. You need levers, and you need buttons, and you need displays to run your ship. No displays, but you're not able to see how much fuel you have, you might you know, crash. No levers, it's gonna be really hard to control your ship. No buttons, no fun stuffs. Yeah, that's it for the first tutorial. And, um, I, I should have the second one already out. I might release these all at the same time. It might be the first episode, then second episode, then third episode. I, I don't know at this point. However, if you're watching this, then you already know. Anyways, goodbye and have fun.